Cheers, this is Kalias from Creatives Lim. Um, today I'm creating an art journaling page for uh, the CAC event called Love Art. And basically it's, actually you could say it's from two point perspectives. The first one would be the topic of love in art, but also the love for art. And I've decided to take a to, to, to create a page that covers both. So the topic of love is in the center of it. But it's also about what I love in art. So I've tried to use products that I love, colors that I love. And you see me starting already. I love coloring. I love color pencils. I think they are a great media. We don't use them enough, I think, in art journaling. Um, Probably because it takes longer. I mean, it's lo not like acrylic paint. You can cover a, a page with acrylic paint in two seconds. It will take you longer to do the same with uh, color pencils. Um, and I've chosen to do something that is in red, because red is my preferred color. This is really my favorite color of all. And uh, I didn't want to do a heart. I could have done a heart, which is quite the obvious red thing to do when you, the topic is love. No, I decided to uh, to draw Macau. So you see on my left, you see my iPad, and I'm um, I did uh, some sketching already with my pencil, and now I'm starting coloring. And even wh while I'm color coloring, I'm changing um, my birds. Uh, so I use my pen my color pencils as pencils uh, and a sketch. So you will see that this will evolve because it won't look exactly how I expected it to look. So that's why I will have to do a few things and add to it. But right now, basically what I'm doing, I'm coloring it out. I'm using red because obviously this is like the key color that I want it to use for my Macau. And um, I'm using yellow because these are the colors, yellow and blue. And I like the fact that it's very primary, um, very colorful. I mean, look at the, the the picture on my left. It's amazing. It's really, really is amazing. And what you can see is I'm not doing it exactly the same way. I mean, um, you know, my, my Macau is not tilted the same way as the left one and the colors are not exactly the same. It's, it's more a reference point for me. And I've decided to have two Macaus because they stay together for, forever. Uh, you know, they're monogam and they stay forever uh, together. So it's a very, they are lovebirds. And um, so I'm, I've drawn two of them. The other one is on the left. And honestly, I'm not sure I would be able to recognize the female and the male. Uh, yeah, I have no clue. I saw them in real life in Costa Rica this year, and they are just amazing, beautiful birds. Probably one of the most beautiful birds I have ever seen. I haven't seen all birds, obviously, in my life, but still, uh, I think they are incredibly colorful and amazing. And the funny thing is they live in uh, trees where you can't really see them because the foliage of the tree is reddish as well. And I guess that's why they're hiding there. You, you can't really see them. You have to have very sharp eyes to see them between the leaves. Um, now I'm cutting my page in half. You will see I will cut out both birds, but while I'm coloring, I'm cutting them apart because I was smearing while I was coloring, which happens very easily. You, you know, you move back and forth and it smears and it's not very good, especially because I'm using primary color. I don't want them to be diluted or polluted by other colors, which are quite extreme. So here you have the red and then you have the yellow and then you have the blue. Um, I'm using polychromos. Um, I don't have any experience with many other brands, um, but I love them. I love my polychromos. Um, I've used some Dervants. I don't like them as much. They're not as soft. And yeah, I think they're amazing. So I'm using uh, some yellow. It's chrome uh, dark yellow. I'm using cadmium um, orange dark. I'm using uh, in cadmium yellow. I'm using in red. Uh, pale geranium lake. I'm using uh, yeah, cadmium orange. I told you the dark helio blue. I'm using the bluish turquoise. I'm using the 
cold gray, and I'm using some black as well, as you can see here. Uh, so these are the colors, and I've decided to put this aside uh, and go to my main page, because I felt that this was a good start for uh, my little Macaus. Um, so here I've prepared my page already. I have put some um, white gesso uh, so that when I use my delusion paints, it's easier to, to use. And why am I using delusion paint? Because, as I said, for me it was also about my art, my love towards art, and I really like my delusion paints. Well, I don't like them as much as I used to, I must say. When I first bought them, I was really excited. Uh, I love how bright the colors are. They are really, they really pop out. And look how little I put there. And it's so, so great for backgrounds. I really love them for backgrounds. You just need to put a little bit and smear it with your baby wipes, and it's amazing. So I'm using London Blue, Fresh Lime, and Vibrant Turquoise. Um, I'm not so much of a fan anymore. Um, I still like them for what I'm doing, and when I know what I'm going to do, and I know I won't have issues, then that's perfect. I don't like that they get chewy when they get older, at least my pink color, and I know they had major issues with the first, ba first batches, is, is really bad. It's really... It's, it doesn't look very attractive anymore. It's not fluid anymore. It's really bad. The second thing I don't like is that they bleed. At least pink does. So if you put just on top of pink, I've put, I think, at least three, yeah, if not more, layers of gesso, and it's still bleeded through, which is unacceptable, I think, for acrylic. So these are the things I'm not very happy about. And for other things, then back backgrounds, I don't use them anymore, to be honest. So I put everything aside to dry, and I'm going back to my um, Macaos because I felt that something was missing, especially... After having seen the bright background, I was worried that they would become, that they wouldn't pop up as much as I wanted. And I chose to took something out that I also love, which is my gel pens. I love gel pens. I think they are really great. Uh, be it to write, I will also write with them, but also um, to create, to doodle. So I'm doodling here on the back of my uh, Macau um, to... Um, to outline stuff as I'm doing here. Um, you can also color with them. I'm not going to color with them. I, I thought about it, but because I don't have a proper red, I was worried that uh, the color of my Macau would change and I didn't want to have a pink Macau. I wanted to have two very bright red Macaus. That's why I stopped here. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to... Um, uh, to go back in and um, also put them on tags. So you can see I have three tags and I've taken one and on one of the tags I'm writing the title of the page which, which is Love Art in a white gel pen. I think it's a Signo, yeah, it's a Signo uh, Uniball. It's probably the best white one. I think, yeah, it is the best best white one. So I'm going back so to make it bolder and clearer, and that works well. I'm very happy. You see, I have another white one. <laughs> I'm not so happy about it, so I'm not using it. So gel pens, again, because I love them. And um, the last thing I will be using, so here is my page. It's dry in the meantime. I can cut out everything that stands out. And now I'm going to position everything and put everything together. And what you can see now is that my Macau don't really pop. There is some color missing. And that's why I decided to go back. And I could have taken simply my uh, watercolors because the last thing that I really love, I mean, I love many things in art, obviously, but I, I really love watercolors as well. And um, my uh, thick, clean um, colors also are kind of watercolor. I mean, it's watercolor ink, and they're really great because they're great. Uh, they're, they're very colorful, very bright colors. The colors I'm using here are yellow, common red, blue, black, and light gray. And you can see, I mean, if you compare, oh, now it's disappearing. If you compare the right one with the left one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, the left one has great and amazing colors. I really like how it pops out, and that's what I wanted to have and what I wanted to achieve. 
And basically, I'm doing the same on the other side. And, you know, I won't show you all because it's not that interesting. It's the same thing again. But, um, yeah, now I can put everything together. I Oh, you, you might have seen I've put some uh, tissue. No, it's, um, it's not a tissue paper, right? It's um, um, a napkin, a paper napkin that I put there because I wanted to create um, trees for my birds. And now I'm taking my pit pen co in cobalt blue and creating a, a border. And now I'm just sticking uh, some uh, uh, foam tape and uh, foam tape to have a tridimensional page. And I'm putting my three little tags with two with the um, with the two birds and the third one with the title of my page, which is Love Art. So. Um, that is it, basically. I um, I really enjoyed it. I liked the way it came out, and I hope you like enjoyed it as well. So if you did, so this is my stamp. <laughs> if you did, please uh, give me a thumb up, thumbs up. Uh, uh, become a subscriber to my channel, comment, and uh, please also have a look at the other CAC artists uh, by using the same hashtag, Love Art. Bye bye.